At midday, 6th of July, a fandom woke up with a glimpse of hope for a new start at readjusting their look and comprehension amidst other fandoms and the rest of the population. Might sound a bit exaggerated, but really, that was my initial thought when the mainstream vlogger Shane Dawson interviewed a small furry YouTuber by the name of Kiro the Wolf at an attempt to uncover and case study the furry fandom, as he calls it, the weird side of YouTube. First glance was met with disappointment as I knew how Kiro was far from the best selection for a representative of the fandom. I'd definitely prefer for someone like Abino Topaz, no hyena. Even fucking Quartz Husky would do a better job. Whatever, it's something rather than nothing, so I'll scavenge my remainings after this slaughter of cringe. A shining light of hope of less shit getting thrown at furries and maybe even some new fellows to join in. What a good sight for the fandom. Now it's only a matter of keeping it like this. How long can a sane human being keep his darkest secrets from the surface of reality? How long can a band-aid cover the horrible scars one has hidden? How long can you go without getting exposed? I question that myself often as to how long my past endeavors can be held by me and me only. I hope for the longest, even if it doesn't meet with the magnitudes of horror and disgust that this monster has achieved or been accused of. Once questionable whether this is yet another attack against the furry community or a genuine case of necrophilia, zoophilia and pedophilia, all in one. I couldn't hold myself from laughing once the accusations came to light. As a rising channel and upcoming icon of the fandom, Kiro had one, and one, obligation as a person. Be careful with everything. Be careful with everything. A lesson many took too long to learn, or realize it's too late to do so. You have to even your growth with your responsibility for any actions you've done in the present and past. Kiro found himself as not just another first wearing cringeworthy, pathetic YouTuber. He was put in a spotlight by Shane and had to face months and months of support. But more than that, more than anything, he was extremely vulnerable given all the circumstances. And all he needed was a simple breach in security and someone with access to his account, and... Kiro. What the fuck makes you think that saying those things, even if they weren't executed as described, would be a good idea even in private? In an environment as unsafe as the furry fandom has become, with even the slightest suspicion becoming a reason for threats and widespread hate, but worst of all, a loss of support from the fanbase that keeps your bank balance stable. I don't blame him for reacting horribly given the allegations. It'd be easy for anyone to attempt to cover it up with the first thing that came to mind. The problem, however, then, it only gets worse if me, your lie is unraveled. That yes, the logs are his. And soon you he get to the point point. where even the truth will come out as a lie. And past that point, you lose all of your bleeding credibility. All the possible support you could have gained from being honest, and all the hate that thrived from the accusations alone would have been drifted away by simply telling the truth, which wasn't even that unreasonable. Kira was once called with some sketchy messages and, out of the infinite possibilities, he claimed that he was hacked by supposed Iran hackers that were targeting furries. The unsuccessful lie was revealed as he himself was pushed into admitting that the logs were true and other sources were helpful in clearing that the media evidence wasn't. Although the text is factual, actual evidence is yet to be obtained, and thus, Kiro is innocent until proven guilty. That is, for those who care, as the internet already did its damage and will continue to do it. But maybe 
something awaits far ahead peace perhaps or maybe an end to a dream we'll see for now i wish luck and better judgment for kiro and a good day for all of you farewell girl come to me in a dream and i don't even know her name pretty mark up on her breast signify her from the red